Perfect. So I just want to narrate something that I came across this morning. Uh, my friends, my friends uh, who are in line. I just want to share some story that is happening where I am. I wanted to let people know that where I am, we do not, we no longer have COVID restrictions. The state of emergency has been removed and people can go about their business. You can go about your business and you don't have to wear a mask. If you want, you could. It depends. Now it's more of um, the indiv individual still take up the responsibility. So most of the restrictions have been removed. So you, you are able to go into a supermarket without um, a mask. You're able to go to anywhere you want without a mask. No one would force you to because the state of emergency has been removed. So we do not have any restrictions in place. Uh, but what happened to me this this, this morning? You know, uh, um, I came I came into uh, to office. You can see I have my office gear. I have my access card just hang around my neck. So I came into the office. I go into the pantry. The pantry is where we go to make some coffee, make some tea. You can see I have my coffee here. So I, I go into the pantry, and we we have quite. A large space there like three people could come in and I was making my coffee and one of my colleagues comes in and he's he did not actually come into the pantry and he was just standing outside and then I was I was just going on my business halfway through I remembered he should not be sitting outside the door he should just come in so I told him uh, sir just come in uh, let's share oh he you know what he told me oh no no I do not actually know if you want me to to come in so we can be two people in the pantry because you know the, most people are used to they're used to the previous restrictions in the previous restrictions only one person at a time could go into the pantry finish your business other people have to wait outside and then come in but now that the restrictions have been removed already people have been conditioned not to enter even though it's not a rule so i had to remind him you could come in you could come in and, and just just do your business i'm doing mine on one place and you on the other keep 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 doing all he needed is to get some water so what I wanted to say is, even if the restrictions have been removed, you can see that the mindset of many, which was good, I'm not blaming him because he was just being respectful. Because some people are not comfortable yet to let people come into even close to their space, even though the restrictions have been removed. But then the, the reason I'm, I brought this topic is just to say, you can see that we have been conditioned we have been conditioned to, to think a certain way uh we've been conditions conditioned to see things differently we have been conditioned to think a certain way we have been conditioned to behave a certain way anyway that was just a story but why i came here uh, you know live online is because i wanted to just say you know what is ruling the world today? It's F-E-A-R, fear. Fear is ruling the world. And the reason I came here online is just because to, you know, to encourage a few folks or, you know, the people who are listening in or who will, who will get to hear this broadcast later, that fear is ruling the world. And the, the problem with fear is... It conditions you to think a certain way. You see, uh, and that's why I brought that st story. Even after restrictions have been removed, people ha have been used to wearing masks, social distancing. They're not able to go back to the original. Why? Because even though the rules are not there, fear changes you permanently. 
fear changes people permanently. So I just came in here to speak about this word. It's a four, is it four? Or f I have four, F-E-A-R, four letter word that is very powerful. Fear is powerful. I believe, you know, the other four letter words is love. Love is very, 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 very powerful. But fear as well is, is, is a very powerful word. It's not just a word. It's an emotion. It's a state. It's a feeling. It's an emotion. It's a state of mind. And I just wanted to share a few things with people. How we can overcome fear. Because in these days... Fear is ruling the world. Fear is ruling the world. And this is a little bit sad. When I say this, I know, I know that when I say this, I feel, uh, I feel weird, but I have to say it. I wanted to tell people, and you know, and I know, and all of us know it, that the world has been changed forever. The world has been changed forever um i don't know how many of you remember last year you know january february march when they, they you know all over the news channel you could hear the word new normal it, it you know we were thinking it's just a, a toy it's just something that is going to be uh, it's just how the news you know bring out some words it's not it's it, they meant it, brothers and sisters. This is the new normal. It, it's never, we can cry, we can, we, we keep saying, let's go back to normal. There is no normal. What we thought to be normal life, it's gone out of this present world. You, you, you trust me, take this word from me. Never again is it going to be business as usual it's not going to be it's not going to be because when they said there is a new normal they meant it brothers it's a new way of thinking it's a new way of if you notice our psychology it has taken it's been a year and a half and our psychologies have been changed trust me brothers i'm giving you um i'm, I'm giving you the that what's what's happening in where i am right now even after removal of restrictions people are ne not going they're not able to go back to normal because they call, when you change someone permanently like almost a brainwashing a changing of the psychology you are changed and that's why you can see the society is divided like we're divided i know, I know it's raining you might hear some drops so i'm just parked here to speak I hope I'm clear. So guys, I wanted to say that what's happening is not strange. It's not something strange. And this has already been prophesied in the, in the Bible that in the last days, fear is going to rule the world, fear. So ex this is expected. But you and me have to overcome this emotion somehow. And I want to give you very simple things. I hope I'm not getting too complicated. I just wanted to say fear is ruling the world. Things have changed permanently. As you, you already know that, the, the, you know, it's, it's already said that this virus is not going anywhere. People might get vaccinated, all things is going to, but it's not going anywhere. So it has changed how things happen and that's permanent. Above all, our psychology has been changed. And our children, the generation that's growing up, they will grow up differently. So I, I just wanted us to prepare ourselves to overcome fear. And I'm just going, you, going to give you two tips of how to overcome fear. Very simple. Guys, this is how you overcome fear. Number one, pray. I know it sounds so simplistic. How is that going to help me? Guys, pray 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 and for me my formula my formula of praying is david's formula in psalms 55 verse 17 he said 
I will pray in the morning, I will pray in the noon time, and I will pray in the evening, three times per day. Three times per day. And you know what? When David said that, he was surrounded by enemies. It's that time when Saul wanted to kill him. So he was just running all over. He had soldiers after him. His life was in chaos. And that's when he wrote that, that, that psalm. Can you imagine how terrible his life was? And he wrote a psalm. And he said, I will call the Lord in the morning, in the evening, and in the noontime. He was praying. Can you imagine that guy was busy with soldiers running away, but he had time to pray three times because that helped him overcome. Number two, guys, to overcome fear is praising God. Find time to praise God. Sing a song. How, how do you like worshiping God? Sing a song. Sing a song. Listen to a song. If you can't sing, listen to it. I would say every day make sure you are listening to a song that worships God. And above all, not listening. I want you to sing it. Doesn't matter, you know, if you have a voice or you don't. Sing, praise, and worship to God. So this, these two guys, these two will help you overcome fear. It is not that you are not going to be fearful. You will feel the, the panic sometimes. You will feel the emotion of fear. You will feel it. You will feel sometimes fearful and uh, you will feel it. But to overcome is by prayer. So I'm here just to call people who are online and those who are going to see this video. Guys, fear is not going to end. Fear is not going anywhere. It'll continue. And one more thing I would say. If you want to avoid fear, don't listen to the source where it's coming from. These days, it's coming mostly from media. If you keep watching media, if you keep listening to, 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 to the source where it's coming from, then you're, you're feeding your psychology with the, the fear, fear, fear. And it, you may think it's not changing you, but when you hear something over a year, the same thing, you're going to believe it. You are what you listen to right we are what what we, we we what we listen to i mean what makes our character what we listen to we hear things all the time and we become um so i would say avoid watching negative media look for positive people people who, who have hope you know people who are offering solutions not just singing and singing the problem and singing the problem you know so look for people who are i know there is trouble everywhere but then we can't keep listening to it uh avoid media avoid negativity only looking for the the negative news to see how how bad it has become take away take a take a take a break from that take break from the news cycle Stay, go into the in the forest, walk, take take a walk in the park, go back to nature, guys. Go back to nature. Take a go see the animals. Go to, stay with some cows somewhere and some goats. Go into the forest and, and 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 pick some fruits and cut some branches. Take away, get away from media, for a while. Take a walk in the park. But remember, I give you two spiritual solutions: praying. Praying, praying. You know why praying helps you overcome fear? Because when you pray, you're casting the burden to the Lord. The Bible says, cast your burden to the Lord. He takes care of you. He, he is mindful, mindful of you. He cares for you. If he cares for you, you cast the burden to him. So by prayer, you're actually offloading you're offloading that fear you're, you're offloading your problems to the lord and that's how you you get peace and fear is replaced so guys um i was just speaking about fear and the, the reason i came here is because the world has changed permanently i know people don't want to believe it they think oh somehow we are going to go back to normal but we shall revisit
We'll come back here three years down the line, five years down the line. You realize that after 2020, things, things will change. Just as it changed when 9-11 happened, the airports. Now, COVID has changed uh, the, 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 the mode of operation. It will be different. People will think differently. They, they want us to think differently. That's why they will keep feeding our psychology with what they want. But you and me, it's, it's, it's you and me have to overcome the fear. So I'm calling people to pray and I'm going to give you a simple solution of, of praying. Even if you have not been praying very well, I want you to take 15 minutes, 15 minutes in prayer. That is five minutes, sing a song. Five minutes of singing or listening to songs. I like to sing because it's it's better to, to, to sing yourself. Five minutes of singing, praise and worship to God. Five minutes of praying, talking to God and, and, and petitioning God and giving Him your problems. And five minutes of reading the Bible. This is just for beginners. It, it'll grow, but start there. Five, five, five. Five minutes of praise and worship. Five minutes of prayer, just talking to God all that you have, pouring it out. And five minutes of reading the Bible. If you can do that, and if you're able to multiply that three times a day, that will be amazing. That will be, you'll, you will find out that what you were afraid of yesterday, it's, it's gone. It will go with time. Anxiety will go. Fear will go. And you will learn to trust in God. And you'll see things changing. You'll become a positive person. You'll be thinking positively. You'll be seeing things differently. Yes, in the midst of the trouble, in the midst of trouble, you will see solution. You will know what to do. So I'm calling people to simple prayer and worship. It's not complicated. It's not complicated. These are spiritual weapons that I've given you. But physically, as a normal person, avoid news. Avoid just searching negative news and feeding on it every day. Look for positive figures who speak pos positivity and are positive. You know what? Look for people like me. I'm here to encourage you, not to make you fearful. Yes, things may change. Things may never be the same, but we shall eat. We shall dress, we shall drink, and we shall sleep. Things may go, the world may be upside down, but we shall be okay. You know how I know that? Because I've read my Bible. It has, the, my Bible, I was reading, uh, I want to believe this is Psalms 46. Psalms 46, 4, 6. You know what David said? Even if the world be removed. You know, like if this world be removed and we are standing on space, we have nowhere to stand on. We shall not fear. We shall not be afraid. Then he said, even if the mountains be removed and cast into the sea. That means a great earthquake flattens the mountains and all the rocks are thrown into the sea. That kind of shaking, he said. I will not be afraid. I shall trust in the Lord. So my Bible has taught me things could go, even if things go wrong, we shall be okay. So listen to the voice of reason, to the voice of positivity. Avoid negative news. And guys, go back to nature. Take a walk in the park. Go and meditate. Take a chair away from the television, away from social media. Take every day some time just to sit somewhere outside in, in the garden and just think meditate go back to nature because nature is healing electronics they're not electronics will just feed us with a lot of information that is unnecessary and most most of it is fear but when you go to god's nature animals plants walking in the park the peace of god will also will also come in this is a physical step you can take to avoid fear. Okay, guys. So I think I have uh, spoken a few things that I had in mind that I felt like I should share with a brother and a sister. Implement what I told you. And come back here 
to me and tell me if it doesn't work. It will work. Praise, worship. Pray three times a day. Doesn't have to be long. Make it five, five, five. I give you a, f a formula. Then praise and worship God. I give you a, f a formula of how to do it. Very simple. Very simple. And that's how you cast your burden to the Lord. And then I've told you what you could physically do. Go to nature. Go to rivers. Go to the seas. Go to oceans. Be with the animals. Go to the garden. Do some gardening. Touch some green leaves. Go to God's nature. All this nonsense fear you see in the world will be, will be zero. Do you know who is least affected by COVID and all the nonsense? Farmers who are in the village. But in the city, it's chaos. The people who are with nature don't feel much of this problem. That's, I'm, I'm just saying this to emphasize why I'm asking people to go back to nature. Even if you live in the city, go to the park. Find a park, get away from the buildings and electronics, and you'll see the, all the stress levels, anxiety, high blood pressure, diseases that are uselessly being caused by stress will leave you. Then if you incorporate the spiritual one that I gave you about praying, then you have the perfect recipe. You will have the peace of God and people will see it and you will notice it yourself. Thank you guys. I'll see you next time. I gotta go. Have a blessed day.